Greetings, I am Giuliano. We are the Octurian. The crop circles are appearing often in the area of Great Britain because of its relationship to the prime meridian on the planet. In some ways, we could say it's centrally located energetically so that the higher dimensional energy associated with the crop circles can be easily distributed through the Earth's meridians. Now, the crop circles have multi-purposes. Yes, one of the purposes is to communicate with the Earth and the Earth's feedback loop system but also, another purpose is to communicate with man. These symbols <clears throat> are coming from a higher dimensional source, defining a new order of geometric patterns that contain secrets to the functioning of the universe and the functioning of the dimensions. But these patterns are locked in codes within the crop circles. So, like any code, it is not easily solved. And also there is an aspect of hidden energy or hidden wealth within many of these crop circles. It is not readily apparent when you look at a crop circle what it means and what kind of information is contained in it. In some respects, the crop circles are triggering memories and triggering dynamic exploratory energy within the human brain that will motivate and stimulate your brain to seek out a new order and a new understanding of this reality. Now, this means then that the crop circles are not just to look at for one moment or one day and then to forget it, but rather it means that it's an ongoing study. It's an ongoing process which would not become readily apparent to the casual observer. Yes, you may look at the crop circles and notice how beautiful they are, but you would still not truly understand the meaning of these complex geometric patterns. And I want to emphasize that these geometric patterns from the crop circles are galactic and universal in nature. They are symbols and they are interactive patterns that have a relevance and are interacting through the whole universe, not just with the here on the earth. One of the main issues for the star seeds and one of the main issues for all light workers is the transfer of fifth dimensional energy into a usable form for changing the third dimensional reality. It is not easy as you have seen, to 
take energy from a higher dimension and bring that energy into a lower dimension and to bring it into a form that is usable. And one of the most difficult aspects is how to bring the fifth dimensional energy into a f- usable format for the earth, a format in which one can understand and know how to use it. So, for example, if I showed you the symbols of the DNA 200 years ago, then no one would really understand what it means. Nobody would understand the uh, what it represents. Yet, it certainly is one of the core uh, geometric patterns and is the basis and the foundation for evolution uh, and for the creation of all of the human forms. So some of these patterns that you are seeing on the crop circles are far in advance of what the humans can even comprehend or would even understand how to use uh, uh, this. So this is another way of saying that these are advanced forms, yet you are involved in what I call expanded consciousness, and therefore many or some people will be stimulated by these geometric patterns to explore new ways of relating, new ways of doing unity. Yes, I understand that at this point, most people don't understand what they mean. But if you at least accept that how advanced these patterns are and that at some point in uh, a future time, these patterns will be critical for the understanding of such things as space propulsion, traveling throughout the universe at, at uh, faster than the speed of light, the creation of dimensional corridors, and uh, how to interact in, in, in a dimensional way. Now, the, the, the other part of this issue of the crop circles has to do with how do the crop circles relate to the Earth's feedback loop system. And there are special patterns of reorganization. You see, uh, the Earth has a very complex feedback loop system. It certainly is beyond uh, what most people would even be able to comprehend. In fact, a, a good example would be the computers and trying to understand the weather. There could be multiple huge computers, yet they still would not be sufficient for understanding the weather. I mean that they might not be able to predict the weather, and you've all seen this uh, many times where the weather predictions don't seem to be accurate. Now, that's certainly a small example, but it illustrates the complexity of the feedback loop system as it is expressed in weather patterns. But imagine how it's expressed in terms of ocean currents, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, uh, movement of the, uh, to, uh, the the plate system around, around the Earth, and even uh, the Earth's relationship to the sun and the galaxies. So th- there are complex patterns which are not understood, yet the crop circles do have a, an ability to relate to the earth on a really a deep and profound symbolic level. And I like to compare that to this concept of archetypes. Archetypes are deep symbols that are appearing over and over again 
throughout cultures and uh, civilizations. There are father archetypes, mother archetypes, for example. There are hero archetypes. Now, these um, symbols from the crop circle circles are our galactic archetypes of geometric communications from other dimensions and from other planetary systems that need to be downloaded and integrated into the Earth's uh, shall we say the Earth's uh, unconscious or the Earth's newosphere, so that the Earth is gathering the technology and being prepared for its ascension into the fifth dimension. Now, the other question is, how or are these created, and how are they transferred? And this is an interdimensional question. I can uh, compare this to the creation of music and the creation of uh, symphonies. The music is uh, telepathically communicated, uh, and there is a receiver, and that receiver is the composer, and he receives the information and is able to put it into a musical form. So he receives the the inspiration. Now, in the crop circles, this is like inspiration that is coming from a higher source, and it is both for man and the planet. And it is being sent and created through uh, a dimensional interaction uh, and through dimensional shifting where uh, an opening a dimensional opening occurs where when the crop circles are made and there there are higher beings around the plant, around the galaxy including the Ecturians, including the Pleiadians, including the Syrians and other beings who are uh focusing and sending these images uh during this dimensional shift in in reality the, the, these uh crop circles happen and are written very quickly and very uh, dynamically. So uh, the, it, when there is a dimensional shift, this means that there is a slight opening and the higher masters and beings can um, use their energy to, quote, write the music, write the songs, write the uh, geometric patterns for the crop circles and then the, when the dimensional shift ends uh, of course then that cannot happen so there are certain times and certain energies and there there are certain dimensional shifting points in England, in Great Britain you know about some of them already like, like uh, for example Stonehenge uh, and some of the other uh, ancient sites have been used uh, for Ancient since ancient times, as dimensional corridors. Now there 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 are dimensional corridors in other parts of the uh, of the planet that can also be used for crop circles.